In this video, I want to show you how you can easily look for keywords within a set of free text data in Power BI. We're gonna go through how to set it up step by step so that you don't have to redo all the work when you have new keywords. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So this video was inspired by a recent problem posed by one of you guys. So the situation is this. So we have two tables that we will look at for today. One of the tables lists out all the comments from a fictional company. So this comment comes into a system and the customers can free text, write whatever they want in this comment section. And the second table that we have is the keywords table. So from this keywords table, we want to look for any instances where any of the keywords listed here uh, if they show up in any of the comments in our table here. And we pick out those certain keywords in the comments to somehow analyze it later. So maybe looking for some sentiment analysis on it or just trying to understand it in general. And as you know, obviously dealing with hundreds and thousands of comments can be a little bit unwieldy and difficult to do. Um, and another thing that you might have to think about is the, the list of keywords may need to change might need to add more or you might need to remove them. So the list of keywords needs to be based on the tables that the users can customize. So how do we do that? So first things first, so this Excel file is something that I have saved in my local uh, machine uh, and I've converted all of these into a table. So both the comments and the keywords uh, sheet here have been converted into a table and I will just try to import it in Power BI. So to do that, well, let's close this first and let's do Excel workbook here. So we're going to go and import that workbook that we have cross join and we're going to import these two tables that we have created there. So the comment and the keywords, we're going to go transform and we're gonna do everything that we need to do in Power Query here. So now that we've loaded those two tables, both the keyword and the comments, now we need to create a Cartesian join between the comments and the keywords to show the keyword or all the keywords in our keywords list across all the comments that have been made in our list here. And we're doing it to simplify the next step, which is looking for the keywords in the comments part. So let's do that first. So let's go to add a column and under custom column, we're gonna say uh, keywords. And here we're just going to type keywords. If we hit okay there. Now we're gonna expand this. Uh, we're gonna click the expand here. And we're just gonna say, just give me the keywords. So here we go. So now we've created a Cartesian join, which basically gives us a comment and a keyword, comment and a keyword, and you'll see it repeats, uh, it doubles up the comments because we have two keywords that we need to check. So now from here, we need to create a conditional column to check that the keyword actually exists or is in the comment part of the column. So we can try to do that easily using the add conditional column. So we're gonna type uh, is in column. And for this one, uh, if the comment, uh, if the keyword, sorry, if the comment contains a keyword, we'll just say one, otherwise zero, just to keep it simple. So you'll see um, that it's giving us zero or one depending on what it finds on the comments. But you'll notice that we only had one match here, which we know is incorrect. Uh, well, this one is okay because obviously they have a complete match, but you'll notice that for example, if you look at this one, we have rude, but it doesn't match because of the casing of the, uh, the comment itself. 
So what we'll need to do is we'll just need to modify it slightly to ignore cases. And to do that is pretty simple from here. Um, we're just modifying the custom column. So instead of doing conditional, we're doing the if statement here, which is generated for us by Power BI. Um, you'll see here where it says text.contains. This is the function. And you have two parameters here, which is both the comment and the keywords column. So within this function, you just need to add another parameter, which we will just start typing ignore. And this is what you need. Compare that ordinal ignore case. That just means that just ignore any casings that, uh, that might occur. If you hit OK, you'll see that we will now have some decent matches. So regardless what is the case of that text that it contains in, it still matches. So one, zero, one, zero. So I think this is what we need. So now that you're done with that, we can simply just hit close and apply. And we're pretty much done. So here we go. So if we just bring in all the comments here, for example, as a table, you will see here are all the comments that have been made in our lists. So if you want to visualize how many keywords were identified in the comments list that you have, uh, what you need to do is just make sure, uh, so you go keywords and is in column, but I think we just need to make sure that this is a whole number as opposed to a text. And this is what allows us to do the sort of aggregation for it. And if we do it like this, for example, values, so here we go. So this pie chart now shows us how many instances of those keywords were identified in our comments. So you can see three of them were uh, we found broken and one of them uh, the comment was rude. And if you wanted to see which comments had those keywords by cross filtering this pie chart, you'll see that for example, um, if you click broken, it won't so just filter out the comments table on the left hand side. That's actually pretty simple. So make sure you select the pie chart first of all. You drag in the is in column into the filter for this visual. Just go to basic filtering and just make sure that the one is selected here. So now that makes sure that every time you click something here, it will apply that one filter across the table. So now it will just give you all the comments where it found broken, for example, or if you just click on this one, it will just give you the comment that says rude. And the best thing about this is if you want to add a new keyword, it's gonna be pretty easy for our users. So let's go back to this cross join table that we have, for example, here. And here in our keywords list, let's say we want to look for a keyword like slow, for example. So we just type slow there, you just save it. And in Power BI, all you need to do is just click the refresh button. And there you go. So you can now see that new keyword that your user added and it will automatically do everything for you, like looking for that keyword and being able to go to those comments to see which comments had that specific keyword. And that's really it for this video. So this is one of the quick solutions that I found in order to resolve this problem. But I'm sure there are more efficient ways to do something like this out there. So if you have some tips or comments, leave it in the comment section box below. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.